Hey guys, my name is Nancy Grace. I'm a current sophomore at Gonzaga. Today, I'm gonna tell you how I turned my passion for artwork into my summer paycheck. So I started making cards because family and friends urged me to. I'd been doing a lot of work for my high school, doing posters, social media, tickets for school dances, but I felt like my best work was stuff that I'd done by myself and for myself. So just like a couple weekends, I was just spending time hand making, hand packaging, painting cards. Um, and I quickly found out that as soon as they were made, they were selling, which was super cool for me to see. I reconnected with SMB printers, um, a local printers that I'd worked with before for school projects. And we started scanning my work and printing it in larger bulk. And that was selling too, which was really cool. I started connecting with a store in my hometown and they taught me a lot about how to approach a business, how to package my work correctly, how to market it, brand it so that you could, what you were getting, you could tell was mine and it was unified with my other works. And that was just a really cool starting point because once I connected with them. I had an article in a local newspaper that really gave me great exposure to the greater um, community. So I started selling my cards for $2, $2.50 because I didn't know what would sell. I didn't know how many um, would sell and I wanted them to go. I didn't want to be stuck with stacks of cards. But since then I have found out that they do sell and been able to drive up my price to $3. Um, I have a market deal, which is four cards for $10, and that helps really well with like not having to deal with ones and also just encourages people to buy more cards. Um, my retail price is $3.75 per card, and that's because the stores have to take their cut. Um, so when I do markets on an average morning, I can pull in around $300, $400 in revenue. Um, and so that is a really great way for me to just like get quick money and um, hand out a lot of, of um, inventory in one sitting. Um, and then rather like since I've been away um, and still stocking my cards in stores, about three to four stores over the year, I'll pull in around $600, $700, $800 um, in profit. So, it's really just like what you want to pour your time and energy into. Um, stores are a really great way to just drop things off and not do much else. But honestly, the real money comes from the connections that I've made through my cards. Since I started selling, I've done weddings, place cards, centerpieces, um, table settings, just all of that stuff. That's what brings in the real money. And that's also like the real fun stuff to do because that's when you're connecting to, with people and that's what you like get to like add your creative flair on. That marketing really started with like three main things. And that was one exposure by others and um, reach out to newspapers, magazines. People will be interested in youth entrepreneurs and that's something to take advantage of. Um, exposure by my school. Um, exposure by my friends, parents, um, and that's really something that you can't really put a price tag on because that's just people seeing you and seeing your work and then like hopefully following up on that and recognizing it throughout the community. So just that like recognition and like that's why branding is so important like that repeated like logo that they see that is really really important. And the second thing is word of mouth and there is so many ways to get that going, but honestly, with my like target market, parents, um, community members, um, just friends, really that just gets the ball going. People tell people, um, and that's just like really how I've connected with um, people for weddings or with different schools. I haven't met, I hadn't met those people before. I haven't even, I didn't go to those schools, but just because, you know, once someone is proud of something or it, over Instagram they see something they want to like spread that on and and help others so that's a really really important thing to do and then third is social media and that's something I've been wanting to get better at over the years but it has really worked in my favor especially since I've been at college this past year like keeping in touch with everyone at home um, but still like creating a new um, target audience in 
in college has been really, really critical with the use of social media because that's what the younger target market um, uses to connect. And so leveraging that in my favor has been really helpful. College students don't have a lot of money, so if they're gonna spend stuff, it's gonna be on something good. So Valentine's Day and Christmas and Mother's Day, Father's Day, those were big selling days for me. Rather, when I'm targeting um, parents, you know, that's more birthday cards, that's like get well cards, um, babies, marriage, <laughs> that whole thing, that is like what the parents want. So I would say knowing what your audience wants how you can give it to them and then how you can promote it to them are like three really important things you could do. I would say barriers to entry were definitely like time, persistence and consistence with your artwork. If you wanna enter this market, you have to be ready for criticism. I face a lot of it all the time, but you also feel a lot of love and support from people. Um, and that's just an awesome feeling, but you do have to be ready for both because what you produce is really personal and you have to be ready for feedback because a lot of that is helpful feedback, but it, you, it can be taken difficultly. So as far as equipment goes, you can really start with pen and paper. Obviously, as you progress and you want to start making better and better work, like you do want nicer pens and nicer paper that scans well, but really just to start off, like anything works. I love Prismacolor. I love those pens, but I honestly use just like a regular ballpoint pen and a Sharpie for most of my work. I have a cheap $5 watercolor set that I've used for about a year and, and it works for me. So that's really unique about doing art. Is it's whatever works for you, whatever you have on hand. What really does differentiate you from everyone else is like what you can do and like what comes from your heart. And so what I found makes my artwork different from those hundreds of other Hallmark cards is that I take inspiration from the Pacific Northwest, from my family, from my pets and my community and I'm not worried about the principles and everything of art because I am and I do that but I really just do what speaks to me and I think that is different from what a lot of other people produce and especially just leveraging my my age at this time in my life like uh, artists but a lot of other small business owners and just parents and teachers in general love to support the youth people think that like young people in business are really cool and um what i'm doing is really cool and so don't be afraid to pretend to be young and and well, not pretend to be don't be afraid to like show how young you are and like what you're doing is really cool and like unique so i definitely have used that to my advantage so my love for art and um, passion for card making kind of led to a greater revenue stream and that allowed me to get in more stores, connect with more people, and then now I have an awesome job um, that I can do just making art. And so it's been really cool to see how that has progressed and um, all the people that have helped me, all the failures that I've had. But now I'm looking forward to creative life, creative career. Um, and I never really thought that would be possible, so I urge everyone who's interested in being creative um, to go out there and start pursuing your passion. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I want to give a shout out to The College Hustle for having me on here. And if you have any questions for me or for the channel, leave a comment below and like the video.